In the middle of this roller coaster week this election season, the U.S. bishops are giving you a guide on voting your conscience, coming out for the first time with videos. Here to talk more about them is the national correspondent for the tablet and crux, Christopher White. Christopher, thank you for joining us. And I want to start with a poignant message in the videos by the head of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, Archbishop Jose Gomez. Let's listen to that one first. We are not aligned with any party, but we shine the light of our faith to influence parties to which we may belong, as well as our elected officials and those in our communities. So I want to know, why do you think the bishops focus on the issues rather than looking at the candidates themselves? Yeah, so the bishops themselves are, are nonpartisan players, uh, or at least they're, you know, strongly encouraged to be. Mm -hmm. You know, as Catholics, uh, you know, ca the Catholic vote, whatever you want to make of that, is pretty much evenly split between Republicans and Democrats. And as bishops, they have to represent all of their flock. And so I think, you know, they try to sort of just constantly draw people back to the principles of the faith rather than particular po political candidates. All right, those videos looked at a lot of topics, including abortion, and let's hear what Ar Archbishop Joseph Nauman had to say about that. Human life is sacred. The dignity of the human person is the foundation of a moral vision of society. Can you talk a little bit about other topics the bishops mentioned in those videos? Yeah, so Archbishop Nauman uh, is the chair of the U.S. Bishops Pro-Life Committee, so of course he's, he's wanting to talk about human life. Uh, of course, uh, welcoming refugees and fighting racism are huge issues for the bishops right now, uh, especially on the migration and refugee front. It's something they're very united about and want Catholics to be engaged on. All right, the videos were based on a document the bishops created called Forming Consciences for Faithful Citizenship. Um, at last November's meeting, some of the bishops raised concerns um, that the document still states that abortion is the preeminent priority of the conference. Can you break down both sides of that argument for us? Yeah, so basically what you have here is uh, the document hasn't been fully updated uh, since 2015. You know, that was just two years into the uh, fr uh, Francis papacy. Right. And what some bishops have said is, look, uh, Pope Francis has continued we said that yes we have to fight for human life but we you know we have to understand that is not just about abortion but it's all issues human trafficking migration death penalty etc others saying no we've got a deep tradition of you know sort of saying you know life begins at conception let's start there uh, you know, and prioritize that issue and so I think that's what they're sort of divided on all right Christopher White the national correspondent for the tablet and crux thanks for joining us thank you If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.